Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. This is Shelly. Today we're going to be doing an Easter, some Easter spring decor uh, with this birdhouse and with a little stand that I made for it. And then a little wooden box that's pretty old by the looks of it. I've had it for quite a while. Um, but it's like a little plant holder, just a box. Um, that I started to put some feet on, never finished. I have these pit berries that are the yellow and pink for Easter and spring. So I thought I'd put all these pieces together. Then I'm gonna take a couple of these wall decor pieces that I got. I used them in another uh, video to do up a little tin holder. Um, and so I thought I'd cut out some more of those and use them on that. So I'm using some mineral chalk paint here and I added it one part water to one part paint, mixing it together because I want it a little bit thin. Um, chalk paint tends to be a little bit thick and it still will cover very well even with a little bit of water on it. So I'm just going to go all over that with the mineral chalk paint. Now I'm showing you here, I was pointing because the box underneath you can see like a gray tone underneath and then um, the white it's got to be like a chalk paint or a milk paint over it because it kind of powders off so um, I'm trying to kind of match it up and so I thought for my base layer instead of just going over the top of the raw wood with white paint because I want to make these look similar um, I would put the mineral paint underneath to give it that grayish tint, grayish brown tint um, to it. So I just did one coat all the way around. There was, as I was drying it, I did use a, a heat gun to dry it. Um, as I dried it, I kept the brush handy and I would just go over some parts that you could see through again. But it really doesn't matter because it's going to all be covered over with white paint. Um, and some other stuff I'm going to mix over it. So it's going to be all blended. So I'm taking the box and I'm going to finish putting the feet on. Again, I started putting those on a long time ago and I had the feet just sitting, the other two feet sitting inside. I never finished because I decided that um, I would do a video on it when I figured out what I was going to do with it. So. And that dark strip across the front of that box is like a metal piece. So I'm leaving it there because I think it's pretty cool. But I'm just showing you that I have uh, the styrofoam glued down inside of the box. I did that a while ago too. Um, and so I'm just going to set that. I'm going to glue it in there once I get done painting it. So this is some white chalk paint. Um, and I'm just showing that I got some of it out and put it in a plate. It's very thick. Um, this is an old bottle of chalk paint, so it's been sitting around. So I just took a little bit out and just dabbing it off because I'm just dry brushing over the top of the mineral paint with the white. And I'm just going all over that and giving it a nice layer of the white paint. I'm just touching it up even more and I also did down the the post of the holder so this is a little bit of black or the ink chalk paint that's called and so I'm just dabbing it in the black just a little bit and then wiping it off on a paper towel um, and so I'm just kind of dry brushing the edges and over the top just to give it a little bit of color underneath like it's been sitting around and got a little aged um, it's going to look worse before it gets better, so just bear with me. Um, it looks a little busy and crazy, 
um, by the time I get done adding all the layers, but then you'll see what I do at the end to tone it back. It, I think it really comes out nicely. So this is antique glaze that I got from Michaels on clearance. I got that on a, on a haul, um, I don't know, a few months ago that I did a video on as well. And I'm just taking that and again, just dry brushing over the whole thing. Just kind of getting it all over around the edges and everywhere. And then I decided to take it and put it on my box as well uh, to age that a little bit. Even though it's already aged, I'm trying to get them to somewhat match um, or to at least marry the two pieces together so that they look like they could be together, um, which they're going to be. So <laughs> they kind of need to look like it. And of course here I'm painting my feet that I just put on. Um, those really should have been sanded. They're very shiny. Um, they're like, they're knobs that I had left over from something. And um, they're shiny, but that chalk paint stuck right to it. And um, I'm just using the watered down mineral paint on that first, giving it that base coat. And then I'm taking the Waverly white paint and I'm dry brushing around it and giving it a nice coat that way as well. So I'm going all over those and giving them a nice dry brush on that. And then I'm getting my heat gun out. Now just remember I used hot glue on these. Anything you use hot glue on and you use a heat gun on, it's gonna reactivate that glue and sometimes will loosen that glue up and whatever you glue down will fall off. So just remember that um, I tried to not heat it up too much. I just wanted it slightly um, dry so that I could put on this uh, antique glaze that I had to match everything else that I used. All right, so here is where um, I take my white Waverly chalk paint again and I go over my birdhouse one more time. I blend and soften all those harsh uh, black, or I guess it's ink, I guess it's called, um, and the antique glaze and all that, and I soften it. And I just give it a light touch of white and so that it still pops through, but not so harshly. So I think it looks much better this way. Makes it look aged, like it's got several layers and it's just peeling off. And um, I think it looks much better. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just gluing in the little spots where my holder is gonna fit. Now this holder is a candle holder and I took a dowel and drilled a hole in the bottom of my birdhouse and took some E6000 and I glued the heck out of the dowel into the candle holder and up inside the birdhouse. So that's how I made that. I just measured uh, how big round my dowel was and I made the hole big enough. The hardest part was getting the dowel not to go all the way into the birdhouse. I wanted to get the right level. Um, so I wanted to just keep, keep it at a certain height. So here I'm just cutting out my, um, I have a flower and a butterfly of these, these, uh, I think they're called wall, oh, wall stickers, I guess. Um, and I used them before and I used uh, Mod Podge to stick them down, but I really didn't need to. They were plenty sticky enough. So I decided I'd try them on this uh, birdhouse. And so what I did was just cut around the edges so that that white edge wasn't there and 
I did th that on both the flower and the butterfly. Now I'm just sticking it on, going around the corner, kind of making it look like it goes around nicely. That one didn't want to fit as well, but it did eventually. And those are my colors in my pit berries, so that's why I chose those two things. I thought they would be really pretty. Now I'm adding my ring of pit berries. This is probably a three or four foot, um, I don't know, it's probably a three foot strand of pit berries. I don't remember where I got them. Uh, I, when I, where I see them, I pick them up if they're a good price. It may have been at Goodwill. Um, I really don't remember. Had these kicking around for a while. So now I'm just taking the moss and tucking it in to cover up that post and the inside of the, the box or the, the plant holder. And then putting it in the corners and making it look like it's just coming out everywhere. Um, I think it fills it up really nice and looks pretty. So there we go. We're just putting, and then I'm just trimming with the scissors because uh, you get a few of those that stick out, and they just the more you the more you poke at them, the more they come out instead of go in sometimes. And then I thought it would be cute to have some coming out of the hole and look like the birds have been adding. Um, adding it in to make their beds. So I have this burlap ribbon with the lace around the middle of it and I thought it would be really pretty on there. Um, and so I just wrapped it around and tied a, a it's kind of a messy knot. It's not really just just like a some the way you'd tie your shoe. Um, and just fixing the bow so that the lace is on the right side. And this is wired, so it makes it a lot easier to shape and mold the way you want it to. So I just trimmed off that tail. And here you go, guys. Here is my cute little spring Easter decor. The little chick is from Tractor Supply. I got it on clearance last year. And the little egg that you see, the little tiny greenish egg, was actually from one of my little, one of my egg uh, chickens. Um, it's just what they call a little fairy egg. And it had a little hole in the bottom, so I put a hole in the top and I blew the, the yolk and stuff out and let it dry. Rinsed it out and let it dry. And I thought it was a cute little addition to my little birdhouse. Hope you like it guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and have a great day.